Hey folks, MS Itachi here. I see that a lot of you guys still have issues with your Rainstorm applications. I'm going to be trying to help you as much as I can in this video and I'm going to be answering a lot of comments. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is follow the comments that you see on the screen right now. Once you do, drag down your PC information and look up for specs. Once you look at your graphic card, make sure that your graphic card support virtualization because if it doesn't then this whole tutorial won't make a difference for you with that out of the way let's continue let's troubleshoot the first thing that i see people telling me was about the grub file and if you cannot find grub by default that means something is not right but before we get there you want to update the software for your Linux always and if you have all the right uh, repo already installed you could do or you could cover more ground basically you can um, it basically means you just have to do less work on the terminal so we're going to be installing our software update let it run you don't have to do this step if you don't have any updates. This is just me doing the extra and because it came in front of me right now. Our computer is up to date, let's close it. Now this is for the first error with the grub file just follow the commands on the screen right now you want to open the terminal you want to type the sudo app dash install get it you should be able to install a grub file and whenever you mess with grub make sure you always update and then you restart the second is about um, the USB port I actually had this problem because I had an AMD Computer. I have an AMD computer. On my Surface it was flawless, but on my AMD computer I went to all type of problem with my USB. So I could feel the frustration for some of these guys. And this is kind of the step that I use to fix mine. So follow along. So you want to type that command that you saw me write earlier. And as you can see on the screen right now, I have three USB controller. You want to look at every um, at every key that has that says USB controller on mine it says three it's three of them but I have ten USB port that means only three of them can pass the jailbreak through them so you have to make sure that you look on yours and whichever one says USB controller that's actually the port that's gonna be passing the hack through okay so the second thing you want to do is type this command because in the list all those USB remember I had three on mine so let's see what it gives me yep it gives me it gave me three so those are the three ports that uh, like I said earlier is gonna be able to pass the hack the whole, the only problem I have now is to try to identify which port does what oh by the way make sure you don't have anything plugged beside your keyboard and your mouse. Run the next command and let's get the uh, windstorm going. Let's repair the USB. This is the easiest method to do it. If this one fails, then we go to the second solution. What you want to do is that every time you want to unplug um, your USB cord and you want to plug um, you want to plug the the cable into a new port which whenever it doesn't give you like a success rate if it says hey you know the patching was successful then you know you connected to the right port but if it doesn't then just don't reboot just close it don't click reboot just close it and then Take it out and plug it another port. As you can see on my computer, it's an AMD Ryzen PC, and I have 10 USB ports on mine. So you could tell how much work I had to do. 
to figure this out. If that doesn't work, then we have to go to the BIOS. Once you boot into your BIOS, please follow these settings. Make sure that you disable your CSM support. That should be the main thing holding your USB port back. But just note that if you disable uh, CSM support, Windows 10 might not boot. And if, it, if that's the case, then make sure you enable again. That's just a thing with those that uh, actually install Windows 10 with that feature turned on. Make sure you actually turn on your USB ports. If they are off, I should make sure that your virtualization is on. Because if this doesn't work for you guys, then you're gonna have to do everything manually and that will actually require a whole different tutorial. But I'm pretty sure this will work because it worked for this computer and it worked with most PCs. I only had to go manual twice. Once you're done checking those settings, make sure you save, reboot, and go back to Ubuntu. Now, when you try um, the USB port, you should be able to read now. And if it reads like mine, then you should be good to go. I actually found that out that um, the USB port that was actually compatible was on the back. It wasn't those on the front. And that's why my iPhone not, is not showing into the emulator. Now we're just going to be running the check main to make sure that everything works. I'm going to make sure that USB is working fine. You see that the USB is being read and it was successful. And that's connected on the back of my PC. So the front port don't work. I won't be able to run, um, I was not able to run the check main through them. I had to use the back port. Usually it's the port that's isolated. Usually when you get that error, it be, it's because both ports are next to each other and they're like in a group, so they kind of split the workload. And for checkmate to work, usually it has to be isolated by itself, so you can run the full hack. It takes a lot of power. What's actually not known by many people is that um, the Apple cable, the one that came with the iPhone, I think around 2011 or 13, those cables have like uh, some problem with the way they transfer data. So if you actually have one of those cables and you don't know and you're trying to jailbreak, that might actually be one of the reasons why you, you're having problem with your USB. It might never be your PC, it might never be the hack, it might just be the cable. So if you feel like you did everything and it's still not working, just switch the cable. So we are done with the jailbreak here, it was successful. So guys, thank you for watching, I hope I helped many of you guys with the problems you had in the comment section. As always, you can always drop more um, comments. If you have more issues, I will try to help you as fast as I can. And actually before we go, I actually have a little uh, thing I can show you guys. Based on of the information that we uh, fill out earlier. The top part is actually the rainstorm running and finding the right port and on the bottom is actually us looking for it. So thanks again for watching and subscribe.